students of class 7th i welcome you all once again to your maths online class yes students i know you all were waiting from so much long time from me to make one video for you all so here i am back with one new topic for you all and today i will teach you about your chapter number 14 comparing quantities okay so today you will learn what are the comparing quantities and what you will learn in this particular chapter okay so without wasting any time let's begin today's topic comparing quantities yes so first of all let me discuss what are the learning objectives of this particular chapter or what you will going to learn in this particular chapter so let's discuss you will learn about ratios equivalent ratios and proportion this topic you have already learned in your previous class that is in standard 6th you have learned about ratio equivalent ratios and proportion so this topic will continue in this standard also after that you will learn about unitary method unitary method also you know that what is unitary method whenever the cost of more items are given and we have to find the cost of one item then it is called as the unitary method so that you will learn after this then after that you will learn converting fractional numbers and decimal to percentage how to convert the fractional numbers the numbers which are having the numerator and denominator and the numbers which are having the decimals into percentage this you will learn then converting percentages to fractions or decimal and then how to convert percentage into fractional number and the decimal numbers after that use of percentage how to use the percentages then increase or decrease in percentage that how much increase and decrease is there in any particular percentage after that you will learn about profit or loss and finally you will learn about simple interest okay so these are all the topics which you will cover in this particular chapter fine students but today i will continue with ratio equivalent ratio and proportion with you all so let's begin with this very first topic ratio equivalent ratio and proportions okay yes students so let's begin with the ratios topic and for that i'm beginning with exercise 14.1 question number first where we have to check if the following ratios are इक्वेलेंट हमें चेक करना है कि ये गिवन रेशियोज इक्वेलेंट हैं या नहीं है इक्वल है या नहीं है सो फॉर दैट वॉट वी हैव टू डू सी रेशियोज मीन्स कंपेरिजन बिटवीन द टू गिवन क्वेंटिटीज सो फॉर दिस इन प्लेस ऑफ रेशियो वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन पुट इधर डिविजन साइन ऑल्सो हेयर सो यू कैन राइट इट एज सिक्सटीन मीटर अपॉन एटी वन मीटर ओके and this side you can write 4 meter upon 9 meter okay now start checking that uh, if these numbers comes in the same table kya ye dono numbers kisi same table ke andar aate hain like 4 and 9 never comes in one same table so it will remain like this 16 and 81 16 and 81 also doesn't come in any same table 16 comes in the table of 4 but 81 doesn't come in the table of 4 81 comes in the table of 9 but 16 doesn't come in the table of 9 so these both fractions these both ratios are not equivalent this is the one way to find out that they are equivalent or not so we can say that no the given ratios are not equivalent the given ratios are not equivalent so this is the first way to find it out that it is equivalent or not and if you have to find it out in other way so what you can do you can arrange it like this as we arrange as proportion in center in place of and i am putting the sign, uh, four dots these four dots means the sign of proportion then 4 meter and 9 meter okay one way is to find like this other way is to do product of means and product of extreme the uh, values which are in the center are called as the center value or you can say it are the values of means and the 
uh, values which are at the outer side that are called as the values of extremes so you can write it as product of means is equal to product of extremes product of extremes okay now put the values product means multiplication so multiply the middle values here so you will write 81 meter multiply by 4 meter is equal to the extreme values are 16 meter multiply by 9 meter okay now multiply it 81 multiply by 4 that means 4 ones are 4 and 4 eights are 32 and meter into meter will give you meter square here 16 into 9 so 9 6 are 54 and 9 ones are 9 plus 5 is equals to 14 so 144 meter square okay so you can see that this side it is 324 meter square and this side it is 144 meter square that means LHS is not equal to RHS left hand side is not equal to right hand side that means no the given ratios are not equivalent so either you can do it like that arranging it in fraction and find out that it is cancelling or not or you can arrange it like this so given ratios are not equivalent okay students so like this you can do all the parts now let's move on to part b now the b part is 12 ratio 36 and 1 ratio 4 as i have told you either you can arrange it in fraction so 12 upon 36 and 1 upon 4 so it is already in standard form standard form means it cannot be cancelled further 1 or 4 ko aap aage cancel nahi kar sakte ho so 1 upon 4 will remain like this 12 and 36 ko jab aap cancel karenge so 12 and 36 both comes in the table of 12 12 comes in the table of 12 one times and 36 comes in the table of 12 how many times it comes three times so this side you can see 1 upon 3 is there and other side you can see 1 upon 4 is there that means both are not equal so again no they are not equivalent complete statement you can write no the given ratios are not equivalent or if you can if you will solve it in other way as i have told you 12 ratio 36 proportion 1 ratio 4 so in that case what you will do product of means is equals to product of extremes you can write like this also in short way now just take the middle value here 36 into 2 other side the extreme value that is 12 into 4 and multiply so 36 ones are 36 and other side 12 fours are is 48 so here again you can see that left hand side is not equal to right hand side so no the given ratios are not equivalent so you can follow any of the given method which i am teaching you here fine now c part is 960 gram ratio 1 kg and 1920 gram ratio 2 kg here you can see students that gram kg gram kgs the units are different one side it is gram other side it is kg here also one side gram other side kg we cannot solve the questions with different units so first of all if different units are given in the question we have to convert those different units into same unit so here we will convert this 1 kg into grams and you all know 1 kg is equals to how many grams it is equals to 1000 gram then here 2 kg will be equals to how many grams it will be equals to 2000 gram so in place of this i will put the values which we have calculated after conversion so 960 gram will come as it is in place of 1 kg you will write 1000 grams and 1920 gram and then in place of 2 kg you will write what you will write 2000 gram now you can see that all the four units are 
similar now i am teaching you only one method because i have already told you the both methods that how to solve the question in both methods but now from c part i am teaching you one method i am taking here the method of product of means is equal to product of extremes so here the means values are 1000 g multiply by 19 20 g and the extreme values are 960 g and 2000 g so that will be written on the other side of equal to 960 g multiply by 2000 g now multiply it when you will multiply 1920 by 1000 so it is very simple after 1920 you will put three more zeros of 1000 and then it will be multiplication no so gram square because one gram is here and other gram is here so it will be gram square and other side when you will multiply 960 by 2000 so what you have to do you have to simply multiply 96 by 2 आप 96 को 2 से मल्टीप्लाई करिए फॉगेट अबाउट द जीरोज एंड आफ्टर दैट यू कैन पुट द जीरोज सो 2 इंटू सिक्स इज इक्वल्स टू ट्वेल्व एंड 2 इंटू नाइन इज इक्वल्स टू एटीन प्लस वन नाइनटीन सो वन हंड्रेड एंड नाइन्टी टू सो हेयर यू विल राइट फर्स्टली वन नाइन्टी टू देन हाउ मेनी जीरोज आर देयर वन जीरो इज विथ नाइन सिक्सटी एंड थ्री जीरोज आर विथ टू थाउजेंड सो टोटल फोर जीरोज विल कम एंड देन अगेन ग्राम स्क्वेर सो सी वन स्टेंस हंड्रेड thousand ten thousand and lakh ten lakh here also one stands hundred thousand ten thousand and lakh ten lakh so nineteen lakh twenty thousand gram square nineteen lakh twenty thousand gram square so both the values of left hand side and right hand side are similar that means yes the given ratios are in proportions uh, sorry the given ratios are equivalent okay so both the sides are equal that means they are equivalent ratios fine students so let us now move on to the d part it is 15 ratio 27 and 32 ratio 40 again we have to find it out that they are equivalent or not so here i am taking this method like fractional method if i'll solve it with this method because i'm solving by both the method so that whichever method you find easy you can follow that method so you can arrange the ratios in फ्रैक्शनल वैल्यूज ओके आपने फ्रैक्शन में अरेंज किया इनको नाउ कैंसिल इट विद द सेम टेबल कौन सी टेबल में फिफ्टीन एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन दोनों नंबर्स आते हैं सो दीज बोथ नंबर कम्स इन द टेबल ऑफ थ्री इन द टेबल ऑफ थ्री फिफ्टीन कम्स फाइव टाइम्स एंड ट्वेंटी सेवन कम्स नाइन टाइम सो हेयर यू विल कम अप विद द रिजल्ट फाइव अपॉन नाइन एंड थर्टी टू एंड फोर्टी बोथ द नंबर कम्स इन द टेबल ऑफ एट सो एट फोर ज थर्टी टू एंड एट फाइव ज 40 right so 4 upon 5 so you can see that one side the fractional value is 5 upon 9 and other side the fractional value is 4 upon 5 that means they both are not equal so left hand side is not equal to right hand side that means no the given ratios are not equivalent and if you are finding a uh, confusion in solving like this then you can do the method of product of means and product of extremes that is also simple product of means is equals to product of extremes so here the means are 27 and 32 so you have to multiply 27 and 32 this side and extremes are 15 and 40 so you will be writing 15 and 40 the other side now simply multiply 27 and 32 when you will multiply 27 and 32 you will come up with the result 27 is a 14 2 2 is a 4 plus 1 5 Multiply three sevens are twenty one. Three twos are six plus two eight. Now four six eight eight hundred and sixty four. So this side you will come up with eight hundred and sixty four. And here fifteen into four. So fifteen fours are is sixty. And then you will put one zero. So you can see that here also both the sides are not same. LHS is not equal to आर एच एस सो आप किसी भी मैथड से करोगे आपका आंसर सेम ही आएगा सो इट्स अप टू यू विच मैथड यू आर फाइंडिंग ईजी यू कैन कंटिन्यू सॉल्विंग योर क्वेश्चन विद दैट पर्टिक्युलर मैथड सो दिस इज ऑल अबाउट क्वेश्चन नंबर फर्स्ट वेयर इट वॉज आस टू फाइंड दैट द रेशियोज आर इक्वेलेंट और नॉट ओके ये स्टूडेंट्स लेट इज नाउ मूव ऑन टू क्वेश्चन नंबर टू विच इज फाइंड द रेशियोज ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नाउ 
we have to find the ratios of these two given quantities. So again you see a part 60 paisa to 1 rupee. Here again the units are different. Here it is paisa, other side it is rupee. So for solving the question, first of all you have to make the units similar. Kabhi bhi question mein agar do different units hain, to sabse pehle aap us unit ko similar karoge. So here you will convert this rupee into paisa. So you all know rupee 1 is equals to how many paisa? It is equals to 100 paise. Now, our question will be 60 paise to 100 paise. In place of 1 rupee, we will write paise. We will convert it and it will be now 100 paise. Now, you have to find out the ratio. So, in place of 2, you will put ratio sign and then 100 paise. Now, how to solve it? Paise to paise will be cancelled and the 0 to 0 will be cancelled. Then 6 and 10, both are divisible by the table of 2. So, just cancel it. In the table of 2, 6 comes 3 times and in the table of 2, 10 comes 5 times. So, you have to keep on solving it until and unless you will come up with the standard values. Jab tak aap aise values mein nahi aajata aapka result, ke wo aage further cancel na ho sake, tab tak aapko isko solve karna hai. Fine? So, this was your a part. Let us now move on to B part. It is 10 meter to 158 centimeter. Again you can see students the units are different. Here it is meter and here it is centimeter. Yahan pe meter hai, yahan centimeter hai. So again aap is meter ko centimeter mein convert karenge aur dono units ko aap similar karenge. So you know that formula 1 meter is equals to 100 centimeter, 1 meter mein 100 centimeter hote hain. So, 10 meter ke andar kitne centimeter hoonge? 10 into 100, that means 1000 centimeter. 10 meter mein 1000 centimeter hoonge. Now, our question will be, ab humara question ban jayega yaha par, 1000 centimeter. In place of 2, you will put ratio sign and 158 centimeter. Now you can see that the units are same. Here also centimeter and here also centimeter. Now both the numbers are divisible by the table of 2. Ye dono number 2 ki table se divisible hai. So cancel it by the table of 2. In the table of 2, 10 comes 2 times. Then 2, double 0, centimeter. And then in the table of 2, 158 comes 2 7s are 14 and 2 9s are 18. 79. So, 200 centimeter. Sorry, here in the table of 2, 10 comes 5 times. No, so 2 5s are 10, 500 centimeter ratio 79 centimeter. So, this will be the uh, answer of B part. Got it, students? Let's move on to C part now. So, your C part is 63 days to 3 months. Again, different units. See, here it is days and here it is months. So, we will convert it into the similar unit. Here we will convert month into days. And for the formula of one month, we take how many days? We take standard as 30 days. One month is equals to 30 days. So, for 3 months, how many days? 3 months. Agar 1 month mein 30 days hai, to 3 months mein kitte days honge? 3 into 30 is equals to 90 days. So now, our question will be 63 days and in place of 2, you will put ratio sign and 90 days. Right? And you know, 63 and 90, both comes in the table of 9. So days and days will be cancelled. 9, 7 is a 63 and 9 tens are 90. So, 7 ratio 10 will be the answer of C part. Okay. Then D part. D part is 3 kg to 12,000 gram. Again the different units. See, this side it is kg and this side it is gram. So, we will convert it into similar unit and you know 1 kg is equals to 1000 gram. 
ऑलवेज कन्वर्ट द बिगर यूनिट इन टू स्मॉलर यूनिट हमेशा आप बिगर यूनिट को स्मॉलर यूनिट में कन्वर्ट करिए क्योंकि उसमें आपको मल्टीप्लीकेशन करना होगा अगर आप स्मॉलर यूनिट को बिगर यूनिट में कन्वर्ट करेंगे तो देन यू हैव टू डू डिवीजन सो बैटर टू कन्वर्ट द बिगर यूनिट इन टू स्मॉलर यूनिट सो वन के जी थाउजेंड ग्राम सो थ्री के जी विल बी हाउ मेनी ग्राम्स इट विल बी थ्री थाउजेंड ग्राम सो नाउ आर क्वेश्चन विल बी थ्री थाउजेंड ग्राम रेशियो ट्वेल्व Right, so three zeros will be cancelled with three zero gram will be cancelled with gram. ये तीन zero तीन zero से cancel हो जाएंगे और gram gram से cancel हो जाएगा. Now three and twelve both are divisible by three. So three ones are three and three fours are twelve. So one ratio four is the answer of D part. So this was all about question number two of exercise fourteen point one. I hope it is clear. Yes, students. Let us now move on to question number three. It is find the value of y in the following. Here, uh, one value of y is missing that we have to find it out in the parts. So let's begin with a part, and it is y ratio eight is equal to thirteen ratio one hundred and four. So here also you will apply the method of product of means and product of extremes to find the value of missing letter that is y. So here you will do product of means is equals to product of extremes. So the means value middle values are eight and thirteen. So this side you will write eight into thirteen, and other side you will write the extreme values that is y and One hundred and four. So product means multiplication. That's why we are putting multiplication sign in the center of the two values. Now, what will happen? This hundred and four will be transpose other side, and here it is in multiplication. When it will transfer this side, it will come in division. So see how it will come eight into thirteen upon one hundred and four is equals to y. Okay. Now. Uh, you have to cancel the values in the table of thirteen. One hundred and four comes eight times. So thirteen ones are thirteens and thirteen eights are one hundred and four. I hope you all know the table of thirteen. Now eight and eight you have to cancel. Eight ones are eight. Eight ones are eight. So everything is cancelled. Each number is cancelled here. So the answer will be one. So here the value of y will be what? It will be one. So this is the answer of a part. Now let us move on to B part. In B part, it is eight ratio twelve is equal to y ratio nine. So this is your B part. Again, the same thing. Product of means is equal to product of extremes. So here the middle values are twelve and y. So here you will write twelve and y. Remember that under product of means you will write the Uh, means value and un under product of extremes you will write the extreme value so the extreme values are 8 and 9 so this you will be writing here 8 into 9 now uh, the uh, value which is with variable will be shifted jo bhi value variable ke sath hogi variable means this letters all the letters x y z and all no they are called as variable so variable ke sath mein jo bhi value hogi wo hum transfer karenge so y ke sath mein value hai 12. So 12 यहाँ मल्टीप्लीकेशन में आप जब उसको इक्वल टू के उधर दूसरी साइड ट्रांसफर करोगे सो इट विल कम इन डिवीजन सो 8 इन टू नाइन अपॉन ट्वेल्व ओके नाउ यू कैन कैंसिल इधर 8 और 12 और 9 और 12. सो फर्स्टली आई एम कैंसिलिंग 8 एंड 12. सो 4 टू ज़ा एट एंड 4 थ्री ज़ा ट्वेल्व नाउ कैंसिल 3 एंड 9. 3 1 ज़ा थ्री 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 ज़ा नाइन Now multiply two and three. So y is equals to two three is a six. In denominator one is there, so no need to mention one in the denominator. So six will be the answer of B part. Okay. Okay. Now let us move on to C part. Again, that I have told you, product of means is equal to product of extreme to find the value of a variable. So here y and y are the Middle values. So this side you will write y into y, and other side you will write the extreme values that is four into nine. So y into y will be equal to y square. कभी भी आप दो variables को जब multiply करते हैं तो उसके ऊपर power two लग जाती है. So y into y will be 
स्क्वायर एंड जब ये पावर टू ऊपर आती है तो इसको रीड किया जाता है स्क्वायर सो इट इज टर्म्ड एस वाई स्क्वायर एंड फोर इंटू नाइन इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी सिक्स ओके अब आपको दो वैल्यूज ऐसी इमेजिन uh, करनी है सर्च करनी है जिसको मल्टी जो सेम होनी चाहिए और उसको मल्टीप्लाई करने पर थर्टी सिक्स आए दो सेम नंबर्स जिनको मल्टीप्लाई करने पर थर्टी सिक्स आए सो यू नो इट इज वॉट येस इट इज सिक्स इंटू सिक्स इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी सिक्स सो वाई स्क्वेयर इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी सिक्स की जगह मैं यहाँ लिख सकती हूँ सिक्स इंटू सिक्स ओके अब नेक्स्ट स्टेप में इस सिक्स इंटू सिक्स को मैं मैंशन कर सकती हूँ सिक्स स्क्वायर जैसे यहाँ y इंटू वाई को y स्क्वायर लिखा था तो अगर सिक्स भी दो बार रिपीट हो रहे हैं तो सिक्स के ऊपर भी मैं पावर लगा सकती हूँ टू सो इंस्टेड ऑफ राइटिंग सिक्स इंटू सिक्स आई कैन मैंशन इट एज सिक्स स्क्वायर नाउ इन नेक्स्ट स्टेप दिस स्क्वायर विल बी कैंसिल विद दिस स्क्वायर ये दोनों स्क्वायर एक दूसरे से कैंसिल हो जाएंगे सो so y की वैल्यू हो जाएगी सिक्स सो so y इज इक्वल टू सिक्स इज द आंसर ओके स्टूडेंट्स पे अटेंशन ऑन दिस पार्ट अगेन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू विल टेक द मिडल वैल्यूज दैट इज y इन टू वाई अदर साइड यू विल टेक द एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज दैट इज फोर इंटू नाइन एज आई टोल्ड यू वाई इंटू वाई इज इक्वल टू वाई स्क्वायर एंड फोर इंटू नाइन इज इक्वल टू थर्टी सिक्स यहाँ पर हमने सिमिलर वैल्यू क्यों ली हमने सिमिलर वैल्यू इसीलिए ली क्योंकि यहाँ पर जो स्क्वायर है उसे हमें कैंसिल करना है तो वो स्क्वायर कैंसिल तभी होगा जब हम यहाँ पर सिमिलर नंबर्स लेंगे तो दो सिमिलर नंबर जिनको मल्टीप्लाई करने पर थर्टी सिक्स आता है सो दैट्स वाई आई टेकन हेयर सिक्स इंटू सिक्स सो सिक्स इंटू सिक्स आई कैन राइट इट एज सिक्स स्क्वायर बिकॉज इट इज रिपीटिंग टू टाइम्स सो पावर विल बी टू हेयर नाउ यू कैन कैंसिल दिस पावर फ्रॉम दिस साइड एंड दैट साइड सो टू एंड टू विल बी कैंसिल सो फाइनल आंसर वाई इज इक्वल्स टू सिक्स आई होप इट इज क्लियर नाउ लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द लास्ट पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इट इज एटीन रेशियो ट्वेंटी सेवन इज इक्वल्स टू थर्टी फोर रेशियो वाई अगेन प्रोडक्ट ऑफ मीन्स इज इक्वल्स टू प्रोडक्ट ऑफ एक्सट्रीम्स सो द मिडल वैल्यूज आर ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू थर्टी फोर एंड अदर साइड द एक्सट्रीम वैल्यूज आर एटीन इंटू वाई राइट नाउ द नंबर विच इज नियर बाई वेरिएबल विल बी शिफ्टेड इस एटीन को आप इधर शिफ्ट करोगे सो इट विल कम इन डिविजन सो ट्वेंटी सेवन इंटू थर्टी फोर शिफ्ट दैट एटीन इट विल कम इन डिनोमिनेटर इज इक्वल्स टू वाई Now cancel ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड एटीन बोथ आर कमिंग इन द टेबल ऑफ नाइन सो नाइन थ्री जो ट्वेंटी सेवन एंड नाइन टू जो एटीन टू एंड थर्टी फोर आर कमिंग इन द टेबल ऑफ टू सो टू वन जो टू टू वन जो टू एंड टू सेवन जो फोर्टीन सो वॉट इज रिमेनिंग इन डिनोमिनेटर इट इज वन सो वी विल नॉट कंसिडर द डिनोमिनेटर बिकॉज इट इज वन इन न्यूमिनेटर इट इज थ्री इन टू सेवनटीन इज इक्वल्स टू वाई सो सेवनटीन थ्री जो इज इक्वल्स टू फिफ्टी वन इज इक्वल्स टू वाई दैट इज योर आंसर ऑफ डी पार्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थर्ड सो दिस इज हाउ टू फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ मिसिंग वेरिएबल ओके so that's all for today today i have taught you about question number 1 2 and 3 and i hope all these three questions are clear to you please go through the video and if you find any doubt any confusion regarding any of the question you can drop your comment in the comment section i will solve your doubt in the next video okay students so that's all for today meet you back in next online class till then take care of yourself